Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to. Wait for it. Wait for it, Rodney. Wait for it. Hitman. Uh, my name is Dizzy, uh, and today we are going to be jumping into some of the uh, bonus missions and things like that. Uh, let me just see how's the the audio doing. Uh, I could do with going up a little bit, maybe. How's that look? I think that looks fine. Uh, alright, yes, so, uh, last stream, we finished the Hitman campaign. I've just realised I need to, uh, close down Firefox, because it'll make the stream chug like anybody's business. But that is fine. Boop. Uh, yeah, so last minute, last time we finished Scythus Invertus, we uh, killed our former recruiting officer, uh, Eric Soders, and took our first major intentional hit against Providence. And then it was sort of decided, well, hey, actually, maybe we, we might end up working with Providence, because we also don't like the guy who put us against Providence in the first place. Uh, but, rather than jumping straight to Hitman 2, what I want to do is, I know there's a bunch of bonus missions, and what I don't know is where to find them. So we've got the, uh, so we also last time did uh, our first escalation mission, the Einarsen Incident. Uh, are there bonus missions perhaps from this menu? I know they exist somewhere. Lots and lots and lots of escalation missions. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of escalation missions, my god. Ah, here we go. Here's a, a Christmas-themed bonus mission, apparently. Holiday Hoarders. Uh, but we also have the uh, the Patient Zero campaign. Uh, which I think seems interesting if I probably want to start basically campaign two, I think. What do we reckon? Do this so we can we can fish for bonus missions. Oh, playing a Santa 47 does have an appeal. Okay, let's have a look at Uh we have a Love Angel in chat, welcome. How's it going? Oh, do we not get a do we not get a video briefing for this? We just get a text briefing. Uh, happy holidays, forty-seven. Your destination is Paris, France. And I must confess, this one is a bit of an odd one. Your targets are Harry Smoky Bagnato and Marv Slick Gonif, a pair of professional thieves currently breaking into the Palais de Waluska. Right. Okay. <laughs> Bagnato and Gonif are both American nationals now living in Paris after a series of botched break-ins and related violent crimes forced them to leave their home country. We have been hired by a worldwide insurance agency to put an end to the activities of these holiday hoarders, as their activities have proven to be quite costly for our client. You are to retire both these with extreme prejudice. I've noticed internal security reports of a strange jingling sound in the palace. The source of these sounds is unknown but might be worth looking into. This is certainly no traditional contract, but I know you're up for the challenge. All right, okay. Uh, Lavender says, "Is going? How are you? I'm doing good. I slept at some point last night, <laughs> which is the important thing." Okay, so we've got to eliminate these two. Any method, any disguise, as per the norm. So let's grab our pistol as a concealed weapon. Uh, let's grab a lockpick think as a uh, gear yeah, lock pick and coin generally the best way to go okay we don't have access to the advertised Christmas suit we do have access to any of the starting locations that we wish all right and then we can smuggle an item in uh, which is the easiest one to get Honestly, it's almost certainly that one. That one's quite an easy pickup to get. Uh, what do we want? Weapons? Maybe, maybe not. 
Love Angel says there's a flagrant lack of flamingos. I think the flamingo doesn't come until Hitman 2, right? I've not played Hitman 2, but I think it's the, the Miami level that gives you flamingos, isn't it? Uh, I think the lethal poison vial. Because we can pick up emetics around, and the syringes aren't so much more useful than just like stabbing someone or knocking them out. So let's go for the lethal poison vial. Uh, and let's jump in and see what the hell is going on. Because I have no idea what the hell is going on. <laughs> Information. Most closets and dumpsters can hold two bodies. <laughs> Such a charming piece of information there. Oh dear. Uh, okie doke. Love Angel. I have no idea. I never even played the man hitting. I'm way too awkward to hit on anyone. Aww. I'm sure that can be fixed. Oh! We've got some Christmas set dress thing. That's nice. Okay. Trees. These two are still here. They've got a present now. It's a brick! Make it big, bold, and what a lovely present! And with newly appointed head designer Sebastian Sato at... Cut! Yeah, thanks a lot, man. Real I do like messing with those two. It's very fun. Okay. And a soda can. Sure. Right. And another brick. I feel like we've been very naughty if these are the presents we're getting. Oh, a wrench! That's a good present, though. Okay. Right, let's have a look inside and see if the usual Novikov stuff is going on. Good evening, sir. Welcome to San Quentin. Yes, okay, so he's... Although we've got different set, he's doing his usual routine, I guess. We still have all the chandeliers and such. Oh, actually, let's have a glance at the map. <laughs> let's have a glance at the map and see where my targets are. That will be useful. Uh... Right, so... Oops, wrong button. So one of them is on level two. So he's in one of the rooms that's around this central area. And then the other one is in the basement. Uh... I think this is the security office, so I think he's on the other side to the security office? Alright, okay. Right. So, now we are not technically supposed to be in there. However, if we run in, we can generally get in and get the thing good time. No one's downstairs, so we could probably just run out. Sorry, don't mind me. Uh, Love Angel says, Marv from Resident Evil 2? Poor guy, didn't he have enough in that one? He must get killed in this one too. Is it is it the same Marv? Is it a, a reference to a game that I don't get because I've not played that game? Are these... No, okay, I can't open those presents. Oh, gold. Hello, that was the jingling. Hmm. Curious. All right, we've got the uh, we've got this area. I wonder if the helmet, if Helmet Kruger's around, because he is by far and away the best disguise in the level. Uh, Love Angel says, isn't the cop in RE2 named Marvin the one in the main hall? I don't know! I Like I said, I've not played it. Am I allowed around here? I guess I am. Okay. What have we got? Propane flasks. There's a guy over there. It's very dark here. Yeah. 
Okay, this is trespassing now. Hello, there's that jingling again. Uh, let's get this ready. Dump you. Get your disguise. Fantastic. Okay. First things. First thing. Mo first and most important thing done. Uh, as you can see, I've been playing a bit of uh, more of Hokkaido offline. I got up to mastery level twenty, and then I also did a run where I just tried to like snipe everyone, which was fun. Ah, uh, Loving just says I've never played it either. I've watched so many people play it, and this stuff by osmosis. Ah, uh, you see. It's, I must admit, it's not the kind of game that appeals to me enormously. So, uh, I, I'm not into horror games so much. Don't expect to see any on the channel, I guess. Do do do. All right. Oh, you recognise me. That's not good news. I possibly shouldn't have thrown that away, I should have used a coin, but never mind. Area. Over. Hello? Okay, look. Alright. Pick up the gun. Fantastic news. Loving just says, I can't play him. I love watching him, along with many other stuffs. Okay, so now we've got the classic problem of we filled up our body storage nearby. What do we do with Helmut Kruger's body? That's always the problem. I think it should probably be fine. If we, uh... If we just leave him there. I don't think anybody else comes up to this part. That was that jingling again. Hmm. Alright, let's go bother Helmet. And uh, see if we can get this photo shoot done. <laughs> Let me just says body part time. I know, right? Let's see if those two are still where they were before. No, you've come down. You've come down to this level. No, but you've come up to this level. Interesting. And you've gone all the way up to the top level. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Okay. So I think... Is he finished? No, he's not finished yet. Oh, he's going to check his phone, and now he's finished. Then he's going to head over that way. Just need to make sure that not that guy with the dot doesn't see me. Because we wouldn't want that now, would we? Should I be worried about Santa? Should I be? I am worrying about Santa. It feels kind of spooky. Lavender says, nah, only about Krampus. Well, let's hope. Does Krampus? I don't know. What, I don't know much about the the Krampus like legend. Okay, those guards aren't nearby. Oh, for God's sake! Okay, I don't think. I don't think that counted as him seeing me. It didn't say. Um, it doesn't say unconscious witness. So I think we're probably fine. Oh yeah, I need to drop the gun! That's kind of important. Can't be having a gun. Alright. We now have... Helmut Kruger, and indeed Helmut Kruger's cell phone. So pretty much no one will recognise us from now on. 
And this disguise gets us into basically everywhere. This is like the best disguise for the level. There's our photographer lady. Uh, then the ideal thing to do is go backstage, possibly grabbing this screwdriver along the way. And this hammer. Very handy. Uh oh. Someone is searching. Does that mean that uh, my body got found? That's not good news. All right, we'll have to go and see what uh what the searching is about. It's possible that Helmut got discovered, <laughs> which will be very unfortunate if true. Ah, we have a boom boom. Welcome, boom boom. How's it going? We're being haunted by Santa, I think. That little background moan that you may have just heard, that's normally accompanied by some jingling. It's it's a bit spooky. <laughs> okay. Right, let's go back out and see if that does mean that helmet was found then. Because if so, that means we've broken Silent Assassin already, which is a shame, but not the end of the world. I can't see why else they'd be searching for me. No, he's still there. No one's gone and woken him up. Interesting. Weird. Alright, okay. It says it's going alright, 47 is looking fabulous today. I'm feeling fabulous, but also spooked. Oh, that door is locked. I think if I open it from the inside... Oh no, it's locked from both sides. That's unusual. Uh... Alright. Right, where are these... Where are these guys? One of them is apparently right behind me. Hello there. You are Mob. You are apparently slick. So what's your routine then? What do you do? I feel like I could probably lure you into the bathroom from here, to be honest. If I wanted to be... If I wanted to be quick and easy and cheap about it. That sink is already overflowing. Okay. So, you go out that door, then you go back downstairs. <laughs> yes, Love Angel! Doing that and then clobbering them over the head with an actual hammer. That most safe and indeed festive of thoughts. Okay, now we've now got both of the bad guys down here. And this room is is lovingly set. Target lockdown. What? I'm what? Were you scared by me? Okay, you are scared of me. That's a bit weird. Also, what's that noise? Are they supposed to be frogs? I think those are supposed to be frogs. Okay. And it says 47 is scary for sure, I guess. Um, okay. Where did you actually go? You went down some stairs somewhere. 
That's very odd. Well, I don't know why they're doing that. Okay, well, let's go back down to that room they were in. And hopefully when they come off of lockdown, they'll go back to it. Okay, they seem to be off of lockdown now. Maybe they just don't like being watched by anyone. Because they're thieves. That would make sense. Oh. They've got they've got a pile of loot, I guess. Alright. I mean this room seems like a fairly easy way to take both of them out. Honestly. Okay look. That's all good things do. Yeah, indeed. I'm a bit concerned by the jingling and the sound to this. Alright, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay, and then he goes out that door. Alright, I guess. There's no reason not. To just get this guy. Shove him in this box. Because no one's around. Then let's see what the loot is. Oh my god, a lot of loot. Jesus. Hang on. I don't want I don't actually want the saber. Cowboy bus, sure. A Benson microphone from the other level. A coconut, a toy tank, an apricot, a shuriken. Which I'm not allowed to have. A fireworks remote detonator, for sure. Okay. Well, that's one guy down. A circumcision knife, right, good. Good, good. Let's get the screwdriver out and ready. Where's he now gone? He's gone outside. Oddly specific. I think it's from specifically uh, Silvio Caruso. His, like, house has, has some oddly specific, like, ritual objects in it, I think. Right. So you come and stand out here in public for a while. And then you go and stand over there. Okay, so I could mess with this if I had any privacy, which I don't. Or if I had like a technician outfit. I think they're allowed to mess with stuff. Love and it says Automod, please. Oh no, what did you get Automodded for? Uh, it's slightly tricky for me to check. Right now, I have to tab out. Hang on a sec. Do -do -do. Oh, I actually have no way of checking. But I guess Automod doesn't even show me what it Automodded. Okay, you also go across the electrified water patch. It says something on the banned word list. Hmm. Oh, good. You're just going to relieve yourself in the garden. You know they're a perfectly functional lose, right? <laughs> okay. Circumcision knife. Oh god, yeah, I remember that boom boom. I'm very sorry about that. That was Streamlabs being a little bit over enthusiastic. You've gone back here. Hmm.
Please tell me this isn't your loop now that I've killed your friend. You just stay up here forever. That will be extremely awkward. I think if that's the case, then my only option is to try and lure you over to the back corner there. I could blow you up with that. Lauren says, it's the other type of knife it doesn't like. The one you keep in the toilet for Reddit related reasons. Wait, or was it from Tumblr? I have no idea, because I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay, he really does just... He really does just uh, go to those three places. Does he take a drink from this glass? Let's actually drop a save as well, another one. Uh, let's leave that, because that was my last Hokkaido, Hokkaido file. Hmm, I might need to tone down my auto mod settings. <laughs> this really is your loop now. Oh my gosh. That's tough. It mods all scatological references. Oh yes, that's on purpose, I guess. Uh that we we I've had some chatters who who like I I could deal with a little bit of scatological content, but I, I've had some people come in who are far too fond of it. So that the uh, that's a little bit on purpose. Right, I want to see if you take a drink from one of these two glasses when you get here. Hmm. I hadn't realised that you were going to be stuck in quite so small a balloon. I also feel like... Remember me, Susan? I was expecting there to be more story, other than just kind of, like, faint haunting jingling. <laughs> okay, because if you, if you drink from one of these glasses, then I can poison that. And that will be easy. Right, so you go up to the table... And yes, you drink from that glass. Okay, let's go and get a... Hi, am I allowed behind the bar here? I am. That's fantastic news. Alright. I need a... Uh... Oh, it's going to be you, isn't it? Although, yes, there is a, a closet in here as well. So let's... Grab ourselves a coin. Oh, I heard that. Boom says supermodels can do what they want, apparently. Okay. Who did that? Where's my coin? That's my coin. Give me coin. Give me a disguise. Now, a few more people will see through this disguise than the last one. But that's okay. Where's the way out? Is it through here? Yes, it's over here. Okay. Oh, I need the emetic poison, don't I? <laughs> Boomer says, except be ninjas or rabbi. Wait, why can't they be rabbi? I know there's an epetic poison vial down here somewhere. Is it this? No, that's a crowbar. Um, I suppose also it's possible that that's actually changed. Uh... Okay, she's having a bad time with the... Uh... The guests. Oh, because the circumcision I've been illegal. I see. That makes sense, yes. Uh, where the hell is this bloody poison? 
This is a security room. So I'm guessing I'm not allowed in. Hmm. What is that noise I'm hearing? Someone talking about feelings of powerlessness, duress, and coercion. This. Is that someone's speech? Like upstairs. Okay, I've got a kitchen knife. I've got so many ways of committing murder right now, it's unbelievable. Uh, poison? I'm sure there was poison around here. Maybe it's been in, in the room that's been being remodeled for this, uh. For this mission, actually, that's possible. What's that? That's a fire poker. Kitchen knife. Oh, okay. Blast! <laughs> okay, well, uh, you guys have got to go down, unfortunately, because you noticed me pick that up. I hadn't realised that I'm allowed to wield a kitchen knife, but not a cleaver. Right, I've nobbled you. Can I run and quickly nobble the other guy? Is he still there? He is. Okay, but he's not that fussed, to be honest. Oh my god, there's another chef right over there. Hang on. This is rapidly spiralling out of control. <laughs> ah! It's fine! Love Angel says, A spoonful of poison makes the medicine go down. Well. This is awkward. I gotta go and find that other body and then find somewhere to hide it. Uh. Do -do -do. Don't mind me, just dragging people around half the floor. Hiding spot, hiding spot, hiding spot, and slash or poison. Oh, there's a hiding spot there. Did I knock him out in here? No, I knocked him out in the other room. This is fine. Oh, there's a hiding spot literally right there. Boomer says a spoonful of hammer makes the chefs go down. Oh, a chef, uh, a palace master key, that's nice. Okay. Right, the witness problem has been contained. We still haven't found the bloody poison! Hammers for the chefs, apples for the, apples for the doctors. It's definitely not in here. Hmm. Okay, I might have to... Uh oh, uh oh, those, those guys see me. I might have to go and get Helmut Kruger and see if I can find someone on a different floor. Uh, which means I need to find my way upstairs, which is through here. Should we have a look around here just in case? No. Uh, Loving just says. I might consider it after a simple deal from a cheap date. <laughs> Uh, oh, there might be some in the actual kitchens, now that I think about it. No one in here seems to see through. What have we got? A kitchen knife which I am allowed to take. Very important that I check that this time. Uh, another kitchen knife over there. Ah, fantastic, emetic poison. And I believe as kitchen staff I'm allowed to add stuff to people's drinks. Oh my god, there's so many kitchen knives! I've got five kitchen knives! My 
Okey dok. Right. You're still just doing this same loop that you've always been doing. Yes. Don't oh, mind me. I'm just gonna put this in here. <laughs> this is perfectly fine. Uh, all right. Now I need to remember where I put Helmet Kruger. He's through there, so go in, right through the kitchen's bathrooms. Okay, okay. And now, in theory... He's going to come over here. <laughs> Is that what the rumours are? Okay, and he's going to take the drink. Oops. He's Victor's upset with me for being vaguely near him. All right. Okay, there's my target. Off he goes to some bathrooms. Not to some bathrooms? Where's he going? Where are you going, sir? Oh, maybe there's bathrooms over there as well. There's lots of presents around. Which is pleasing. I wish more of them were openable. Well, I guess you'd just get so much stuff if that were the case. Alright, and drown. boop a -doo. Love just says, was it mimetic poison instead of emetic poison? <laughs> Pick up Iago invitation, nice. I've got also a proximity explosive duck. See, that's the kind of present I was after. Okay, head towards an exit, you say. Uh, am I allowed in here as Helmet Kruger? I am. Alright, and out the front door. Duck. Indeed, duck. Well, that was fine, I guess. It was... That was a lot less exciting of a mission than I sort of expected. I was expecting there to be more Christmas to it than just kind of vaguely ominous background jingling. <laughs> and some presents. But we got them. We didn't stop them stealing stuff, and actually we stole most of the stuff in the end. But we got them. Ah, oh, that never spotted is very sad. <laughs> All because of that one cleaver I didn't even need. I was just being a kleptomaniac. Oh dear. Okay. Four hitmans. So four out of five hitmans isn't bad. Okay, so that's the only bonus mission in Paris. Are there bonus missions in Sapienza? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it just... Oh, yeah, there we go. Bonus mission, the icon. Bonus mission, landslide. And then, patient zero. Okay. Okay. What the hell is this? Is this in Sapienza? This doesn't look like Sapienza. Good morning, oh, 47. hello. Good morning, Our Diana. Destination is the Italian coastal town of Sapienza. Wait, where our you're not Diana. Aventura Pictures is shooting a superhero epic based on the cult graphic novel, The Icon. Your target is Dino Bosco, the film's director and leading man. A washed up character actor, Bosco sees The Icon as his big comeback. Unfortunately, his rampant perfectionism and complete disregard for the budget has left Laventura on the verge of bankruptcy. Still, he doggedly refuses to wrap the production. Laventura cannot fire Bosco without violating the contract. That is why they have asked us to retire him before the whole studio goes belly up. 
Amazing. I, leave you to prepare. I love the Hitman contracts that are just like, we didn't want to break our contract, so we're just going to kill the guy instead. Uh, <laughs> Boomer says she's trying okay. To be fair, she's not doing a bad job. She's not doing a bad job at all. Uh, yeah, that's what, and lockpick. We don't need coins in Sapienza, generally. Because there's a place you can get a bunch of coins for free. That being said, is there anything I want more than coins? Uh, probably not. Like, having both the lethal, lethal and emetic poisons might be nice, I guess? Smuggle item... Oh! We've only got one option here, interesting. Loving says, if your contract costs you more money to break than to kill the guy, the guy's overvalued himself. <laughs> Point. Okay, so we'll put the lethal poison vial in there. And assume that we can find some throwables in the map. Suit. Italian suit? I guess? It's not really a suit. It's... it's... it's a shirt and trousers. This is a suit. Let's go for... Raven suits. I want to feel like I'm an action star on the set of a movie. Location. Only one choice. Okay. Let's jump in then. I'm also going to meet for a sec while I have a drink. I've also just realised that I didn't delete the security camera recordings to in the last mission, but I guess I just didn't get recorded at any point somehow. For the sake of authenticity, Dino Bosco's icon costume is genuinely bulletproof. <laughs> <laughs> Genuinely bulletproof. <laughs> so, I suggest you take advantage of Murphy's law. Good luck, forty-seven. Okay, interesting. So I guess this is going to be like the last mission in that it's mostly the same, but with some minor set dressings. Call that a flame. It was a match. A goddamn match. I can hear him all the way from over here. My God. Uh. Just that good at hit manning, apparently. Is there a person here? There are people here. Hi there. So many films films that have actually been finished and released while we still Are there opportunities? There are, there are new opportunities. Oh, I should have looked for opportunities in the last mission. Darn. Oh, okay. Interesting. I think actually I do know what this one is, because it's 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 a particularly grisly and gory death, uh, which is quite unpleasant. Am I allowed through here? Okay, yes. This I guess is is open to members of the public. Right. So he's got an actual animatronic walking robot, which you never see in this day and age, and it spits fire at him. I guess that's going to be an opportunity, probably, because he's not happy with the amount of fire. Um... Sorry. Say what? Then... I wish I could let you through, but I can't. Okay. <laughs> You're really dressed for the occasion. Okay. What on earth are they doing? Okay, they're being a bit crazy. Uh, there's lots of people here, my goodness. There's a merch stand. Hi there. Oh, you've got lots of coins, but I bet I can't... Oh, okay, no, apparently I can reach them. Amazing, I told you there'd be loads of throwables. This is very illegal. <laughs> I'm guessing I'm not allowed back behind? No, I am! Okay. Sure, I'll just nick all of your money then, I guess. Are you awake? I can't tell. 
Okay. And then... He's going to do some sort of a signing here. With a water bottle that I guess we could poison, potentially. Alright. Hi there, am I allowed down here? No. Okay, I wonder what's through there then. And then this is the cafe, which is locked apparently. Doubly interesting. Oh, are you about to go inside? No, you're not. Okay. That would have been really helpful. We're gonna pick a lock here, just super quick. Good to do, go grab our pickup. Wait, where's our pickup? There's our pickup. Pick up lethal poison vial. Okay. Now, I guess a good step one would be, can we lure someone down here? Because this is a nice isolated area with a bajillion different places to hide bodies in. Gotta keep an eye out on that, those dots outside. Is anyone nearby? I don't think anyone is near enough to hear this, unfortunately. Okay. Lawyer says, I love how nobody gets weirded out by the strange black <laughs> case in the cell with the pill bottle inside. <laughs> you raise a good point, Love Angel. You do raise an excellent point. This is another body storage place, my goodness. We can store the entire film crew in here if we want to. Okay. Now there are people near here. There's one person. That is Dino Bosco. Uh I don't I don't think it is. I think that's Dino Bosco. Okay, the question is the problem is because of this, I have to like Open the door. And I don't know how I'm gonna hide from him to nobble him in time. To be perfectly honest. Okay. I'll wait till he's nearby and see if we can steal a chef outfit. I don't know if the chef outfit will help us very much. At the very least, it might get us into that room. And to not be trespassing here, which is quite important. I wish I had a throwable, like a throwable knockout actually. Maybe I should hold fire until I... Oh, that's... I see, okay. <laughs> that's just oh, straight onto the film set. Right, good. Let's get out of here, so that we're not trespassing anymore. And this is an interesting place, there's some portaloos on the street here. Some particularly gross ones, I must admit. And I'm not sure where you're actually supposed to stand in order to use the urinal. But I guess that means if I poison someone... They'll like... Oh, you're a chef as well, aren't you? Yeah, I guess that means if I poison someone, they might come here instead of somewhere that's like hidden. Okay, what's your loop, sir? Also, is there anything else around that I can pick up? The explosives rigged? Yeah, good and ready. But if we go manual, it'd be so much better. That way we can bring the explosions to this cube and we'll just keep changing them. Uh, oh, hello. Maybe, what's this? Make sure the explosion will happen. Automatic or manual trigger. I don't care. Okay. Let's uh, let's drop a wee save, see if we're allowed to change here, because I think we might be hidden enough. Perfect, okay, but that guy sees through this. And he is very close. He is very nearby. <laughs> Oh my 
God, he does sound like a nightmare to work with. Uh oh, is he coming around? Run, 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 run. Whoa! -ho -ho -ho. That was too close. I've been recorded by a camera. That's super annoying. Okay. We're in. We're not trespassing anymore. Next question Am I allowed out this door? No. Okay. So this disguise hasn't got us very far, and there's someone in there who sees through this. Which is unfortunate. Uh, what have we got? Soda cans... There's something glinting yellow over there. Some other useful throwables and items that we might want. Please close the door. Thank you. Okay. While we've got time, I'll probably take him all the way in, because this might be a useful body dump for people from outside, maybe, if I need to knock out people who are out there. Okay, you can just go in the freezer, I guess. There we go. Alright. This room should now be clear? Was there another...? No, okay. Just being weird. Uh, alright. This room is now clear of people who will see through me. It's me. Look, I don't know what to do. Bosco is being impossible. That's why I set up this Q&A, to give him some decent exposure, but he's being a jerk. No, just kidding. What, just what are you saying? Action. Sabotage the set to get him to do it? Look, that's not even funny, all right? Look, he's doing a fine job sabotaging this film and his career all by himself with his goddamn ego. Okay. Q&A session? This could get complicated. A lot of witnesses around. Then again, a distraction of sorts could create a perfect setup. Right, so this seems like the least helpful opportunity possible, to be honest. Let's get him in front of more people. I assume that that opportunity is all about poisoning that water bottle. To get him to take a drink. Soda cans... What's this, then? Bosco's trailer key? That sounds useful. Uh, another kitchen knife. Um, anything else around? Some emetic poison, we love to see it. More soda cans. Do do do, do do do. Another kitchen knife? Yep. Okay. However, we're not allowed out of here looking like this. So it's of limited utility. There are a bunch of guys in here, but do I think I can actually lure one of them away? It seems unlikely. Uh, no, can I... if I hide down here, can I lure you over there? No. It's too far away. Right, we might have to do a complicated multi-coin setup. Or, possibly, if I drop a gun somewhere, I might be able to convince one of them to pick it up and take it away. But I'm not sure where they take it away to. I'm not sure where the guard checkpoint is, because I don't think it's in the basement, which is where I'd sort of like it to be. 
There's no, there's no weapon storage down here, is there? No. Okay. Uh, oh, what's that? Hello. Oh, more, more emetic poison. Lovely. Even more emetic poison. I could poison everyone, and then I could fit them all in this one house. Uh, okay. There's also the stairs that go further up, and I think that lets me get to the security camera system that I got spotted on. So let's. See if we can do something about that. Yeah, that camera. There, what have we got here? No idea. Salvatore Bravuomo. Uh. Do do. I'm apparently allowed to be here, even though I, I broke in. This is not trespassing. Um, do, do, do. That goes down. Well, there's stairs further up. Maybe there's another level that has the cameras on it? I can't quite remember Sapienza that well. Uh, yes, another l level. The hell? <laughs> oh, I guess that's the security camera. Huh. Oh. In in later Hitman's, I know they show it off with like a very obvious. What the heck? Make love not war. Okay, maybe I'll consider it. Yeah, I know in later Hitman's they show it off with a much more obvious set of like grid lights. Okay, I don't know what's out there. Let's see if it's in here, the thing we're looking for. What have we got? A fire axe, a winch, which I'm assuming is for that, which is not terribly helpful. Ah, security cameras. Perfect. Bingo. What else have we got? A crowbar? Not super. Ha not as handy when we have a lockpick, but I think that might be our first non lethal throwable. A radio? I don't think there's any more we can lure in with that. Oh, hello! We've got two guys up here! Excellent news. Best news I've had all day. Pick up wrench. Oh, so that's why they're in the the shop then, because they're using this building as like a a secondary point. Okay, well let's see if we can hike one of them down. Yes, he is coming. Fantastic news. Get the crowbar ready, do a hide. <laughs> Thanks for the quote, Boom Boom. Action. Is he looking? He is looking. I need to lure this guy further away. Oh, that is not what I wanted to Stay here. Yeah. throw, right. but it's okay. It worked out fine in the end. I'm sure there must be somewhere to hide you in here. Yep, there we go. A lovely box. What is this place? <laughs> like seriously, what is this place? There's a Make Love Not War sign outside. There's a tarpaulin down and files everywhere. <laughs> What's going on here? Says, can't believe it still gives the option to snap his neck after how he fell. Oh dear. It's fine. It's a non-lethal throwable for a reason. Or a, it's a, or a non-lethal melee for a reason, I should say. Alright. Dump you in there. Okay. So we now have 
access to, I'm guessing, the two most pertinent disguises, security and film crew. Those will be a big help to us. Because this walls are also non-lethal. Alright. So we can, if we want, interrupt the shoot dressed as this guy. Uh, I tell you what I should do, actually. I should have a look down there to see who sees through me. A couple of guys? Not too many guys. Um, can I vault over here and climb on the roof? No. That's a shame. There is a hole in that roof, though. Oh dear. Um... Oh yeah, there's also this way, which I didn't go. I wonder what's up here. Hello? <laughs> Italy is a very strange place! What is going on here? I wonder if this window is left open on purpose as some sort of... Because I can't snipe him because he's in a bulletproof costume. Which I think is hilarious, by the way. Hmm. Interesting. I don't think there's anything I can do with this place, but I'm glad to know it exists. <laughs> so weird. Oh, I can climb in through the window if I want to as well. Uh, alright. I'm just gonna go grab the security guy. Where is he? I put him in here, didn't I? Partly so that this costume is, like, on a lower level, and partly because I want to see who sees through this. About the same number of people, but different people, and I think slightly more obnoxious people. Slightly harder to get past people. Okay, so... Let's head downstairs. Sneak out into the, uh... Area proper. I wonder if someone down here sees through me. No, I don't think they do. Good to know. Uh, where's the way out? There's the way out. I could have sworn there was a door onto that side, but maybe not. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Oh man, hope they get the pressure right this time. Yeah, you know, I hope it's set too high so they shoot Bosco up into those teeth and just chew him up. With a little tampering, the prop teeth can be made lethal, and apparently Dino Bosco does his own stunts. Always good to see an actor willing to die for his art. Yeah, so that one, he gets thrown, I think, into the the monster's mouth, and then he gets, like, diced up. Yeah, anyways, you know, while the mechanical brakes are activated on those teeth... Yeah, you might want to go up to the head and double check, you know, let's just make sure... Okay, and apparently you can go up to the, the head and double check, if you wish. Also, can I climb on top of this from here? That feels like it ought to be possible. It is possible. It's probably trespassing, and I'll probably be seen and caught immediately, which is why I'm doing a save. Can I just nobble him? Can I just drop down behind him and nobble him? That feels too easy. But I probably could. Okay, so there's a separate special effects crew, I see. I shouldn't probably hang out here. I should wait until he's gone. <laughs> um, do do do. Of course, given that he's in his costume, I don't actually know if I can, like, break his neck once he's knocked out. I don't know if it's possible for me to stab him. But okay, he goes to his trailer as part of his normal cycle. I don't need to do anything to get him there. So that's the easy way out. Screwdrivers. Lovely, especially all these explosives lying around. That's just fantastic. Okay. Oh yeah, the film crew lifestyle. That's where we were before. Am I allowed to cross here? I'm guessing not. I'm guessing this is the special effects crew area, right?
Hang on, I can ask you. Excuse me. Nope. Okay. Okay. What's in here? <laughs> a battle axe. Amazing. Truly wonderful. Um and not much else to be honest. Bosco's car key, I guess that's an alternative escape. Yeah. Does he eat that? I guess not, because I can't poison it. Okay. Where's the way out? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I need to get out. Okay. Okay. Right. So we've got to watch out for that guy. Uh-oh, who's coming this way? Just don't mind me. Uh-oh, someone else is spotting me. That guy. That's a little awkward. To tell you the truth. I can probably get around the back of him though. You were the film crew. Nope, nope, nope. Stop where you're going. Do, do, do. Okay, we've blown Silent Assassin straight away. Which is a shame, but not the end of the world, I suppose. Alright, okay. Could have got into that that guy from behind, which might have been better. But we'll know for if I ever need to do this again. Okay. Now. Yep. I'm afraid I can't hear what you're saying, mate. There's a lot of pyrotechnics and explosions going on in the background. Alright. I could try and sneak in here, but I don't really want to have to. There's the, uh, this is the Caruso estate. Gate's currently locked. I don't know how to get up to the head. Right. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm trespassing here. I didn't even realize that was thing. Okay, well, we're in a lot of we're in a lot of trouble right now. Um, getting the special effects crew disguises seems to be pretty tricky. What's down here? Okay, just a guard on the street. Can I go in here? Probably not. No, I don't have the key. Okay. Oh, the town hall key? I'll have that though. I'm assuming this isn't the town hall. No. Alright, what else is around? Because Sapiens is a huge level. 
Although the streets are really quiet. Normally the streets are super busy. I remember trying once to, uh... Oh, hello. This is... Special effects area, but there's no way through. Okay. Yeah, I remember once trying to, to get a sniper rifle through the streets without changing disguise. There are quite a lot of people that you need to knock unconscious for that to happen. But here, like, I could easily get you. For example. If you're being a problem. If, for example, I really wanted to go into that shop. Okay, this is the special effects area that leads to the back of the head. I guess. Sorry, can't have all you film people running around. Yep, though no, I, I understand. Us film people. Uh and then that's blocked off. Okay, so we've actually got a lot less of Sapienza to work with. That's good news. In a way. You being there is slightly less good news. So I'm afraid you might have to go. Sorry. Don't mind me, don't mind me, just carrying a body. There we go. It's fine, no one saw anything. Right, I should now be able to sneak in here. Don't know if I need to be in here, don't know if there's anything in here. Oh, I'm allowed in here. And there's nothing in here. That's a shame. Oh well. Guess that woman got knocked unconscious for nothing. But it's fine! Asphyxiation never caused anyone permanent lasting harm. Uh, There's this place. Hmm. Right. Okay. Weird sound. I've got a plan, okay? Uh-oh. This guy might be interfering with that plan. Ah, forget it. <laughs> it's fine, I've got loads of coins to do this with. I can just lure her as far away as I want. I can even lure you straight over there, to be honest. Oh. Yes, okay. Huh? Don't mind the creepy bald man just luring you into a dark alley where no one can see you. It's fine! Bonk! Okay. Pick up coin, pick up coin. I should have another one around somewhere. Oh, maybe that was all of them. Five, I'm back up to five. Okay. One lady out of the way. Now, guards. Who's the guard who comes and stands here? Which one of you is it? <laughs> this is my long and brilliant plan to get in that room that might not even matter. But it's also possible that this security disguise will get me into the special effects area. I do actually have a security disguise, but I can't tell if they're the same one or not. On account of being thick. Okie doke. You're gonna go there. Did you hear that? You did hear that. Fantastic. Don't move. I'll go check. Not me, not moving at all, sir. I'd never even dream of moving. You can pick that up. Mm. And go have a look at that one. Huh? That's probably all we need to do to get you out of sight. Got a noise here. Stand by. Right. 
coin, coin, gun, put gun away. Okay, <laughs> we're working our way slowly and surely towards having these guys cleared out. Uh, coin. You gonna go and investigate that distraction? No, you're not going to investigate that distraction at all. Okay. It's fine, we can try again. Man, thought I heard something. Checking it out. Over. Don't mind me. Nothing here. Returning to post. No, 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 returning to post, please. Okay, that'd be yeah, much better. Really? Stay put. Find something to hide behind. Okay, I'll hide behind you. <laughs> Alright. So, two guards down. Now, we got to get you, and how visible, okay, this street is pretty visible. So my coming plan is to just lure you over to there, and then we'll get you on the way back. You go. You pick that up. Ah, eh, forget about it. Who cares anyway? <laughs> oh, okay. Apparently, I can't just uh, dump you through the window. That's fine. We'll just stop to pick a lock real quick. <laughs> Do, do, do. Okay, I'm not allowed in here, which isn't ideal, but we got the security guys out of the way. We're allowed. We're, I mean, I can now get in here physically. I'm capable of it. Uh, let's drop another save now that we've done that. Uh, security guys are allowed in here. Yes, they are. Fantastic news. All right. Where does this go? We've got a open all of the doors. There's another guy on the other side of this door as well. Who are you? Oh! Hello! We're in this shop. I see. Am I allowed up here? Yeah. Okay. According to the special effects crew, Dino Bosco demands bigger, more lavish flames. I believe we should give him what he wants. I like this one, to be honest. Okay. Get the high octane fuel. Uh oh, someone was spotting me there. You, that security guard sees who security guard disguises. Good to know. Where the hell is the high octane field, do you reckon? Wow, bodyguard. What's this? Unlock fuel storage. Pick up high octane fuel. Okay. Well, that wasn't so hard. High octane fuel could be highly unstable. Be careful when handling it. Maybe it could be used for some kind of grand finale. Okay, good. Now, we've got a couple of options for disguises to go for here. 
I don't know which one is the best one. What was that? Pick up something? Propane flask. Emetic poison again. I don't think we're going to use that. But we've got the option. Um, I think what I really want... Hang on. Is to lure you down here. I don't know. Maybe you should go check it out. I'm astonished I didn't break any of the plates by doing that. Alright. We've now got Pyrotechnics crew disguise. Oh! I got the two chameleon challenge, that's nice. Wasn't even expecting that. Okay, how good is this disguise? I don't know where the refueling station is, which is unfortunate. I'm assuming it's where that monster goes. Oh, there's a guy right around the corner who sees through this. It's okay, he's not looking at me. Oh, that guy also sees through this. Hey, you're allowed to apologize, you know. Yep, sorry, sir. Okay, what about security? How do I feel about security going through here? Does that sound any better? Nope, not this one. Right. Okay. Yes, this seems much better. There's that guy though, who could be a problem. So I'll just uh, just have to wait for him to to wander off that way. Oh, this is where the safe house is. Fantastic. All right. Although we can't actually get in there. That door is locked. We don't have the key for it. That's fine. Just need to wait for you to turn around, sir. Please. Good boy. Alright, and we've got what? Is this? Crowbar here? Where's the refueling station then? Uh oh, those two both see through me. Alright. So, he goes, he burns. And then, where does he go back to? Oh, is it that thing in the middle? That everyone can see? I bet it is. Yep, it's this. Okay. I'm not allowed to do that in this disguise. So I probably do want... The, uh... I probably do want the special effects guy disguise. Even though getting... Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Oh, I ran straight past him. That's not good news. Do do do. Okay. Right. I don't have time for this. No, you don't. Okay, no one over there actually sees through this, which is nice. Swap fuel. Nice work, Let's help make Bosco's extravagant vision an inferno. Okay. So I think I now just sort of have to wait. Basically. Let's go get a good place to view from. Film crew, huh? Mm. Yep. All right, we've got to wait for the thing to ref to finish refueling. 
I don't actually know if it'll be this time around or next time around. I mean, Dino's car is apparently an exit route, but I have no idea where that is. What's that over there? Oh, that's some sort of a... that's a light fixture, I guess. Okay. Where is he? Is he in his trailer? He's in his bloody trailer! God damn it. He stays in there for ages! Um... I wonder if I can lure him out. What do I have a spare of? I got a spare screwdriver. That's interrupted you. Is it gonna make you uh I'm on it. Oh no, it just makes you bring your security guy in there, that's annoying. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Can you get back to your normal routine please? Maybe? That looks like you're trying to head out. Fantastic. Nope, I need to go down, please. Oh, my screwdriver. Or maybe a crowbar, I guess. Okay, right. You in position? You getting ready for your take? Now what's he doing? My guy, you've done this, like, a dozen times just while I've been here. Okay. Right, robot is up and ready. It's leaking fire everywhere. Okay. I don't know what he's screaming at now, but that's fine. Oh my god, my guy, just do your take! I accidentally picked like the worst possible moment to go and replace the fuel as it turned out. Okay. Spotlight's on him. And... Boom! He's on fire! Amazing, we got him. Thank god for that. Oh no, Boom Boom found an ad at the worst time, I'm so sorry! Ah! <laughs> uh, where are our possible exit routes? We've got... Hang on. Oh my god, Sapiens has so many levels. Oh, it doesn't tell us what they are, only that they exist. I want to go find that one. Alright. Challenge completed, someone could hurt themselves. Do <laughs> you think this film will be any good, he asks. No, not really. Do do do. It's where we, we knocked like six people unconscious just to get. Oh, okay, this is just like some door. Okay, I was hoping for the car, to be honest. You're so mad about the ads? Oh, I'm so sorry, Boom Boom, but we did get him, eventually. His cycle's a bit long. Uh, and I got an achievement, Night at the Movies. You actually missed it, that's tragic! I'm so sorry! Um... Oh, amazing. Right, we have sappied his last Enza. We were spotted, unfortunately, which is really awkward. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay. 
Well, let's see what other bonus stuff there is to do. Do do, do destinations. Right. Uh, bonus mission landslide. But again, four hitmans. Okay. Good evening, forty-seven. Your destination is Sapienza, Italy. Again. Your target is Marco Abbiati, oh, a wealthy businessman returning to his hometown to run for mayor. Okay. Snake-tongued right-wing populist with mafia ties and money to burn, Abbiati is already comfortably ahead in the polls. However, beneath his silk suits, Abbiati is a callous thug, and organized crime is certain to follow in his wake. Makes sense. Our client, the renowned bioengineer Silvio Caruso, sees Abbiati as a threat, not just to his ancestral town, but the entire country. He has asked us to dispose of this would-be patrician. I'm sorry, what? That's hilarious! <laughs> So our client is Silvio Caruso. What happens if we kill Silvio Caruso during the mission? <laughs> That's so funny. Oh dear. What am I doing? We don't want coins. Because we get coins. I wish it didn't always default to fiber wire coins. I wish it defaulted to the last thing you used. We still only got those two options. Uh, smuggled items. We only got one option again. Uh, I guess let's bring a sniper rifle. Let's bring the Sega 300, just in case we decide there's good, uh, there's good sniping opportunities, or in, in case we decide we want to snipe Silvio <laughs> just for fun. Um, that's. Honestly, quite psychopathic Marco sounding of me. He is throwing a political rally at the beach to gain young voters, and getting close to him unnoticed might prove difficult. So pay attention. Okay. Men like Abiati always have private scores to settle away from the public eye. Good luck, 47. All right. So, uh, let's start off by looking for opportunities. There are some. Stage ride. Oh, I guess we can electrocute him on stage somehow. Although that, interestingly... That looks like roughly where we are, but I can't see that prop. Hello, am I allowed over here? Okay, I guess I am. What the hell is this music? My god! <laughs> Alright, okay, so... Oh, this is a much quieter little portaloo bit than before. So that's good to know. Can I get in the shop? I can! I've got a lockpick. Everyone and their mother might see me. Let's actually drop a save as well. Let's remember to do that. <laughs> okay. What's in here? I don't think I've ever been in here before. Okay, there's a person in here who's some sort of shop staff. There's actually two people in here. But what I don't know is what the point of this place is. Um, oh, I don't have any coins yet, I haven't picked them up. Alright. I'll leave that for now. The loos are open. It's one of the sets of public loos that have coins in. Language! Uh, a 
soda can will do in place of coin in a pinch. That stomach flu, man, it's going around. I was in bed all week. Came out Yummy. Okay. Hi there. Hey, what's up? Coins. 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 More coins. Four coins. And another oh, soda can. Okay, and then there's a quiet area over here, which is where you can nubble Francesca, I think, in the main game. Oh, there's a guy sleeping here. Hello. Right. Ah, and access to Silvio's place is cut off, so he probably isn't in, in the mission. But we could have a shovel if we wanted to. Do. <laughs> That's always good to know. Is that something on the shelf back there? No, maybe I'm just being weird. Um. Okay. Well, this is lovely so far. Okay. Let's go back up into the town, I guess. I'm assuming this is going to be the exact opposite of last mission, where the town streets are going to be absolutely packed with people. Oh, there was another way to go there, wasn't there? I could go up some stairs here. Hi. Where does this go? I don't remember this bit of the map at all. Ah, okay. This goes to the shop. And to another loo. Right. I can't disguise myself this year, unfortunately. But I don't know why this place matters. It might not. So it's probably pretty fine. Hello, am I allowed? Sir, you need clearance to pass through. Okay, I can't go up there. Right. Uh, how do I get down? Oh, it's through here, isn't it? Do do do. Okay, so there's something up there. Uh, I'm lost in the tunnel. It's fine. Okay, let's see what's on the church side. No, let's see what's on the street side. Oh, there's like a full on concert going on. That's what the music is. My god, I didn't realize. Hello. I hope this is not DMCA. Hello. Oh. Don't mind me. What's there? Something here? Examine reservation note. This wine is reserved for Abiati. Okay. Fair enough. So, that's an obvious way to get at him, potentially. Ah, look there! That's the prop. That we can apparently use to electrocute him somehow. Okay. Right, so. That's that opportunity, I guess. I'm assuming this is off limits. Yep, that's okay. Alright, there's one opportunity. We'll sort of culminate there, somehow. Down this side, we have the, the fishing guys, as always. 
We've got a way into the church from underneath, I think? This is a non-lethal, right? Blast, he saw me. I was really hoping he wouldn't see me. Oh, I gotta unlock this first, apparently. Ah! Excuse me. Can you can you keep holding this guy? Right. Dump him. Grab the disguise. Destroy the camera recordings. Head up the stairs. Uh oh. Someone is nearby. Two someones are nearby. Oh my god, lots of people here see through this disguise, my goodness. What are you doing, sir? Oh, you are cleaning. Okay. Right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here. Doesn't allow you. Fantastic. Well, let's just ping a coin. Oh, you didn't hear that. Okay. Will you hear it now? Really? Yes, you will. Okay. Oh god, where did I put the shovel? Thought. Well, that's two people who've seen us now. I'm not being the sneakiest hitman I ever could have could have been, but it's fine. It's fine. Do do do. Just hide you in here with your friends. This will cause a scandal when you're both found, one of you with no clothes on, in a cupboard. <laughs> right, okay. Now, we are here. There's someone out there who sees through this. I can't figure out what sort of a person you are. You're another church staff. Okay, the church has lots of staff apparently. And then up here, we've got another guy. What are you doing? He's become a better person. Oh! Are you standing under that chandelier? I don't think you are. I see, he comes in here. That's why this is an important place. No. The chandelier is... But I'm guessing you do work under that one. Okay. So. Church key. Fantastic. Uh, I think we can just sort of leave you there. I hope that was an opportunity that we missed. That would be awkward if it was. And then up to the top. Is there anyone up here? No. I believe there's something you can do with the bell in this level. Yeah, if you have a crowbar you can drop the bell. Although I have no idea how to get someone to where the bell is. But it's an option. Uh... Oh my goodness gracious me. <laughs> there's a lot of stairs to run down. 
Um. Okay. Oh. Okay. Lots and lots of people see through this. So let's uh. Let's just sneak out the back, shall we? What's in here? Anything? Another shovel. Let's put down this shovel, honestly. Uh, I feel like that's, it's the best that we're not carrying that around the entire city. That's a blending point. That is unbelievably uh, a tree shredder. Oh, and you're a groundskeeper. Hello. You're a slightly different disguise to what I am. We can also hide you in here and not break you. Where that's a that's a possibility. And then that goes down there. There's some tunnels that way. Sure. That's an open grave. Uh so here we have a nice crypt with candles still lit. More shovels, in case we ever run out of shovels. What's in here? Am I allowed in here? Yes. Oh look, I finally found a member of the church staff who doesn't recognise me. Cannot blend in, too suspicious. Okay. Uh, anything in here? Emetic poison. Always good to have a backup. Skizzers. Alright. We haven't found any opportunities so far. Uh, hi, am I allowed in here? Yes. Sewer key. Good to have, good to have. I guess this is the sewers? Yes. And I'm not allowed in here, apparently. Which is slightly irksome, but as long as no one else is down here, it doesn't really matter. I could possibly use this to get the uh, security guy disguise. Right, who's he's going? Is this Mario and Luigi? I think this is Mario and Luigi. Um, what there's not is anywhere to hide a body nearby. Do I have a non-lethal throwable? I do not either. Whoa! Hey, Hello. Hey, you! Get the heck out of here! Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, that could have gone better. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I did not particularly want to kill you. But I had no way of getting you. I'm sorry, were you carrying a battle axe? Yes, you are carrying a battle axe. Okay. Right, good to know, good to know. Uh, oh, this is a, a little inflatable alligator. These are, these are good. You can, uh, hang on. I find that very funny. Oh, I should probably disguise as the plumbers. Uh, there we go. Now I'm allowed to be down here. Uh, oh, more more rat poison. Love that. Where does this go? This comes out on the beach. Fine. I haven't found any opportunities yet. Apart, from, well, I haven't officially found any opportunities yet. And this goes to somewhere under the church. Right, this is technically trespassing. For some reason there's coins in this grave. I think I'm officially grave robbing now. Uh... 
Oh, that's where we were before. And then this goes to the... Yeah, okay. Alright. Um... And finally we have this way. Where does this go? The trespassing, wherever it is. I'm not super sure where I am. I guess we're in a house near the church? Uh oh. Hello. Mister? Sorry about that. Yeah, okay, this is not this is not the best hitman run that anyone has ever done. Uh <laughs> do, 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 it's fine. We've now got a bodyguard disguise though. If we want one. Uh, it's probably best to put it on. But we're actually allowed to be in here. Do, do, do. Although this guy still sees us, apparently. Uh, apartment key. Abiati's assistant's apartment. Are you Abiati's assistant? Okay. Well, let's get the crowbar. Open the door. Wait, where did he go? Oh, he's out on the balcony. Doopity doo. Hello there. Do you matter? Abiati's schedule. Supposed to meet with the union leader Alfredo Giovannetti in two hours at the church graveyard. Alright, okay. What else can we do in here? Target is currently unavailable. I don't know what this means. I assume this is an opportunity that I've sort of jumped a little bit of. Can I disguise myself as you? No, okay. Oh, and you've got another. Alligator. Alright. No, I want to put it away. Thank you. Alright, well... If nothing else, that would be a fine sniper shot. Uh, given that we've already sort of balked the mission a lot. Okay, actually very few people seem to see through this, which is a surprise. I would have sort of expected lots of people would see through this. <laughs> oh, Love Angel, I didn't mean to make you cry, I'm sorry. Okay. She's up there. I probably do now have clearance to get on that uh, stage now if I want to. I don't understand. Oh, hello. Father is gone. Have you, have you seen him? No, oh, it's very strange. He's never acted like this before. But we need to find him. People are waiting for confession, man. Maybe it's Abiati. What do you mean? He's looking for him too. And I heard rumors that they had. Oh, hello. Am I going to be able to shoot him in the confessional booth? That would be amazing. Staff, Marco Abietti wants to meet with local priest Father Francesco, a highly respected member of the Sapienza community. But Francesco is trying his best to dodge him. In fact, the priest has spoken out harshly against Abietti on several public occasions. I wouldn't mind being a fly on the wall when those two exchange blows. All right, so disguise myself as Father Francesco. I'm sure we can do that. We've already knocked him out. I am allowed back here as a bodyguard. Good to know. I wonder if this will be getting him in a position. If I don't shoot him in the confessional, maybe I'll be getting him in a position to like drop the bell on him. Oh, I got a challenge for changing into this guy. Talk to Abiati. Alright then. 
And let's not go out through the front door though. Uh, okay, let's go out through the through the basement. This is fine. This is fine. That's not the basement. But this is also fine. Alright, we drop down. I'm a very athletic priest. Where is where is our target? He's over here somewhere. Oh, excuse me, sir. Okay. Is he going to follow me or is he going to go there himself? And he's going to go there himself, which is fine, because that means I can take the sneaky way around. Do do do. Don't mind me, just a priest running around, climbing things. Right, he's now in the booth. Okay. Uh, why? Sit down as priest. Okay. Let's drop a save here as well in case this is where I'm supposed to, like, shoot him. Being me. I've been looking for you. I'm listening. Thank you, Father. I thought you would be more reluctant, but I have sinned. I've committed horrible acts of greed, lust, and more. I'm currently planning on evicting this town and all of the old scum that's been sitting on this gold mine. I did it because of avarice, I'll admit. But this is such a beautiful town. It's far too good for the poor. <laughs> right. Okay. Good to know, good to know. Ten Hail Marys, and you're on your way to redemption. <laughs> is that it? You have relaxed with time, Father Francesco. But you would put up a fight. I believe in forgiveness. Okay. I know you won't, uh, talk. Seal of confession, you know. But I want the church on my side. I'm a good Catholic. So maybe join me on the roof where we can talk a bit more. Oh, privately. excellent. Scratch each other's backs. Hopefully, see you up there, Father. Right, go to the church tower. Excellent. What way are you facing? Uh, directly towards me. It's okay. He's gone past. Do to do. do. Okie doke. you came to your senses, Father. The Vatican has always been fond of money. Money is God. That's what Nietzsche never understood. If God had simply taken another form. The state understands that, but I must confess, I thought you would put up more of a fight. I like how I'm getting the occasional opportunity to push the bodyguards over as well. That's quite funny. Um... Do-do-do... Alright, I assume he's going to send these guys away, and then, uh... Or maybe this is where I'm supposed to drop a bell on him, but I don't have a wrench, do I? No, no wrench yet. So I'm hoping this will be a push opportunity. If not, we may have scuffed it. We may have to do the opportunity again. Or find a different one. <laughs> He's a little out of breath from the stairs. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely, definitely going to be a push opportunity. You're right, sir. I 
dare say divine intervention is in order. Yep. So serious. Uh, look at this town. I mean, it has so much to offer. Together, with the support of the church, this could all be ours. Yep, it could be. Bye. Oh, Jesus. Oh, cripes. Woo! Ow, alright, well, we got them. No silent assassin. Um, which is super duper my fault. <laughs> I like how the bodyguard just leaves. <laughs> he doesn't care. Oh, he doesn't know where he is. Oh no, that's worse. Uh oh. <laughs> he lost his guy. <laughs> That's so funny. I can't. I don't want to push past him because I'll like make him suspicious. I hope you're not going to go through that door, by the way. No, okay, thank goodness for that. Alright, hurry up. Hurry up, mate. Where are our exits? Uh. See, all of the uh, house and stuff is still around. Hang on. Exits. We've got the boat down there. Or that's where we left last time. I guess let's go for the boat. Uh, let's also change out of the priest get up. Just in case some of the locals recognize the priest, because I wasn't, wouldn't put it past them. Oh! You recognize the priest, blimey. Oh, uh, you recognize the bodyguard, even. Okay. Do -do -do. Where are you going? You're going that way, that's fine. I don't care if you go that way. Alright, let's go grab a boat. And zip away. Uh... Loving just says, that guy's not the smartest drawer in the kitchen, there's only three ways out. He was guarding one. Either his boss could fly or he thought he could. Uh, where's the exit that I'm aiming for? It's over here somewhere. Do -do -do. Oh look, there's another... There's another alligator. Hang on. Oh, everyone's gonna get real mad if I do this. Ha ha ha! It's fine. I actually only saw, like, a bit of the map. Do I think I can shoot that from here? Yes, I can. Excellent. There's the boat. There's the boat. That's a lovely looking boat as well. I'm missing the key, goddammit. I don't know where the key is. Uh, <laughs> that's awkward. Where's the next nearest exit? I'm going to have to run through the whole town! <laughs> oh dear. Ahem. This is fine, this is fine. I got to pop the alligator. That's what's important. Do, do, do. All right, am I allowed to cut through backstage? Yes. Okay. Sneaky shortcut up here. Can I get into Crusoe's house? No, Crusoe's house is uh busted. It's it's locked. Right, doop -dee -doo, don't mind me, just a bodyguard <laughs> scaling this to try and shortcut through the town as quickly as possible. <laughs> um, yeah, I have no idea where the keys to the boat are, so... I... Yep, maybe. Um... Uh... Hmm. Oh, I think they've fixed the way into the compound from here. Yeah, I uh, 
can't get into the house. Oh no, I've got the key! Ah, oh, amazing, because it's my house, I guess. I could even actually pick up the thing that I brought with me! <laughs> oh dear, right. Do -do -do. Down the stairs, and there's like a car in the front bit of the house. Uh oh, please tell me this isn't going to need keys as well. Is that why it's greyed out? That's going to be really unfortunate if that's the case. Salt. I don't suppose you have to have the key, do you? No, you do not have the key. Lost. Can I not just run through the tunnel? <laughs> Getting out is really difficult, as it turns out. Getting out is the hardest part of this mission. Okay, there was one more exit, which is this one. I guess we're going over there. We really are seeing the whole city. <laughs> Look, there was this whole like marketplace that I didn't investigate. So butch. If you say so. Oh, I just whacked that woman. Don't mind me. I wasn't. <laughs> nice to have the city to all the souls that matter. If this one's locked, I genuinely don't know what I'm gonna do because I don't know where the keys are. This one's not greyed out, so I assume it's not locked. I was expecting the locked ones to have a lock icon on them. Okay, amazing. <laughs> I'm struggling with that door so much. <laughs> we did it! We did it, gang. Wonderful. I got the achievement bravissimo. <laughs> oh dear. I got literally no challenges unlocked that run. <laughs> Which is weird, because I thought I would have got the opportunity challenge, but I guess not. Um... <laughs> Non-target kill penalty, two times f minus 5,000. That was the Mario Brothers. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Alright, we've got, what, 50 minutes left? I can try another mission? Uh, or I can try some escalations? How are people feeling? What are people thinking? I don't know what other bonus missions there are. I assume there are at least going to be some. There we go, there's one there. Uh... Is there only one in every place? No, there's not a Bangkok bonus mission. And there's not a Colorado bonus mission. And there's not a Hokkaido bonus mission either. More missions is good, alright. <laughs> Thank god. The thing about Colorado is... Colorado is absolutely fine. If you start, hang on, if you start in any of these four places where you get a starting disguise, and it's absolute murder if you start anywhere else, because the problem is getting into it. Like, once once you've done the mission, once you kind of have an idea of where all the different disguises are allowed to go, so even though they do all look identical, like, you can just remember that. But getting a disguise at the very start, that's the hard part of Colorado. And I guess that's probably why it's so hated in freelance mode, where you can never start disguised. Oh dear. Anyway, okay. Well, let's head to Marrakesh then, see if we can do... a house built on sand. And I suppose, actually, is that the last bonus mission? Did we decide? Yes, that's the last bonus mission. Okay, that wraps up quite nicely then. Good afternoon, 47. Good afternoon, fake Your Diana. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco. Your targets, Kong Tuo Quang, head of a Chinese construction conglomerate, and Mathieu Mendola, 
chief architect at Tuao Quang's biggest rival, Hamilton Lowe. Oh, okay. Mandola plans to double cross his employer and leak non disclosable company documents to Tuao Quang, including the confidential offer for a multi billion dollar real estate project. In response, Hamilton Lowe has requested that we eliminate both men and send their competition a clear message. Kong has rented a rooftop patio for the meeting, but the location is as of yet unclear. So track them and eliminate them. And reclaim the documents. Good luck, 47. You know when that Providence person said you could have just fired the guy? Well, I feel like they could have just fired the guy. Okay, we've got to kill two people and acquire documents, which are probably on one of their persons. So, smuggle items, we only have one choice. We'll grab the sniper again. I think. Morocco has some okay sni sniping locations. Starting location, only one choice. We'll grab the lockpick. And we'll grab... I think there's plenty of coins around in the market as well. Lavenda says... Firing people is hard unless it's out of a cannon. I feel like when if you know that somebody is going to leak documents, it shouldn't be hard to fire them. I'm going to put that out there and be like, corporate espionage, it should be quite easy to fire people for. I want more suits. Unfortunately, I think a lot of the suits you were supposed to unlock by doing the uh, elusive targets, which obviously you can't do anymore. All right. Standard 47 loadout, let's go in. Guards will investigate gunshots. You might get blamed if you stick around. No, I've been watching uh, Zoe play Hitman, and her number one problem is she kills someone or fires a gun, and then she just stays there, frozen to the spot for a good five minutes. Okay, so this is all about the cafe, is it? The shisha place. Oh, hello. Right, you've got some documents for me, maybe. Alright, we're at night, which means once again, we can't see anything. That's fine. You're having a lie down here, are you, sir? Do you, uh, do you really need this whole bench to yourself? Oh, and that's a soldier. So I guess there's still plenty of soldiers about. This is a nice little camel sculpture. Very attractive. Where actually am I on the map? Oh, okay, this is the place where there's normally a riot going on. I see. This is the, the front of the embassy. I'm assuming I can't get into the embassy. Yes, normally, like, you could jump over that bit of fence in the far corner there, but that's gated off. <clears throat> I'm guessing the school is also going to be gated off? But we'll find out, I guess. Does it say... Yes, Consulate General of Sweden. Uh, got some motorbikes. Should be having a look around for things to pick up. We've got... that's just some water down there. We've got some payphones? What can we do with the payphones? We can short-circuit them. Does that electrocute people who use them? That's very funny, if so. Oh, and we should look out other opportunities here. There are opportunities here. I really should have done that in Paris. What have we got? Lots of foods to potentially poison. Um, some big old pyramids. I'm not sure how those are staying balanced. They look like they're made of powder. I feel like those should have spilt over everywhere. But I guess that's... I guess Morocco, they know how to balance dust. Question mark. Oh, all right, what have we got here? Skizzers. Good start. Uh, we've got a nice little sort of carpet shop with a crowbar, very nice. And a place to hide bodies, if we want to. This also feels like the sort of thing in any other game you'd be able to climb up on. 
but obviously you can't hear. Uh, what's this? More scissors? I feel like these scissors are not durable enough for cutting carpet, but what do I know? There's a kitchen knife there, but I don't think I can uh, reasonably get it. Oh, they're both in the market right now, I think. Oh no, they're both in the... this is the start of the shisha bar. Gotcha. Okay. Let's have a look around the side streets before we go in. Steal everyone's Coca-Cola. Oh, the canned drinks are available. Is this where we started? No, this is not where we started. Um, plenty of poisonables. Another chef, but they're out completely in the open. Um, hi there. You're a you're a waiter. Sorry. I didn't realise you were going to walk this way. Okay. <laughs> I assume this is the recurring character in some of the kitchens. That's hilarious. Alright, so what's this? A good smoke. Kong is the tobacco shop's owner, his assistant, serving a very important guest. Kong is known for his fondness for a shisha pipe. Okay. That one says sound has gotten all staticky. Hmm. I don't think that's something on my end. Uh, my bitrate seems good. I don't think there's anything I can do about that. You thought it was just you. Oh dear. Hmm. Curious. <laughs> uh, very curious. Is it still like it? Bim says, I've had it before, usually going and coming back fixed it. Interesting. It's good now. Okay, weird. Well, I didn't do anything, so... Uh... I have gotten lost, though. Okay, if I go here and turn right, this is where the school is. What have we got here? Some cables... Okay, the school seems to be just kind of open at the moment. I'm allowed in here, I guess? Sure. Are there people upstairs? Doesn't look like it. I'm not even trespassing yet. No, I'm just straight up allowed up here. Fair enough. Somebody's wailing. Uh, what have we got? Some bricks. Alright, it's not the most useful item in the world. I'll account for that one use only. But. Better to have them than not to have them. I don't think I can get off this roof anywhere. So that's all good. It's so dark in here. Uh, school. Police. Does that mean I'm not allowed? No? No, this is chill. Oh, it's so weird seeing Marrakesh in like a normal day. Are you... Are you one of the gas mask people from before? No, I think you're just somebody with a bike. And what have we got here? That's the school itself. I'm assuming there won't be a way in. Uh-oh, this is broken. Hang on. Yeah, 
Yeah, look, that's all bolted up. Hello? Well, hey, mister. How's it going? Hi. If I throw a stick, will you leave? Jesus! You said hello to me not two seconds ago. I was sort of hoping some of you guys might have an opportunity for me. But I guess you don't. Hello. You're dressed nice. That's all boarded up. Okay. Do you do, you do anything, sir? Are you significant in any way? Um, what have we got? We've got a crowbar? I think, yeah, crowbar. Um... There's a military guy here with this guy. I might be able to bop you. No, that's definitely gonna. Hey, what the hell? It's definitely gonna alert you, isn't it? If I do this. Hey, Mister Sergeant, this is mysterious. Cut the crap out, okay? Well, that was a big. Nope. That didn't go well at all. This is fine. Whoops! Okay, so no silent assassins then. Lol. Uh. Oh, you've got me a key though. View intel. Key to the antique shop. Alright. Uh, this is fine. Someone obviously saw me doing that. Oh, blast. He saw through my disguise. This is fine, this is fine, this is fine. This is fine, this is fine, this is fine. Oh, we're back to the bloody snail meat lady. This isn't where I want it to be. Oh, he goes out the back! Over there, interesting, okay. Uh, is this disguise actually allowed through the security there, I wonder? Hello. Hey, uh, where's Boyle? Probably doing what he usually does. What? Looking at carpets? What is it with him and souvenirs? Uh, did he give you the key to the back door of the Shisha Cafe? Ah, oh, crap, I forgot. Okay, so there's someone looking for carpets who has a key. Interesting. Interesting. Um. Oh my god, there's so much litter and junk around, my goodness. Uh. Oh, you're some sort of technical person who's allowed to fix things. Good to know. Are we going the right way? Not really. Fortune teller. For a fortune teller. Sounds promising. A man of superstition surrenders himself to fate. Well, you don't have to be clairvoyant to see his future. Okay, so that's our first proper opportunity, I think. Find the fortune teller's den. See, I took my grandmother to a fortune teller the other day, and the fortune teller said a Frenchman would come to Marrakesh and ask for a fortune teller. message was not to her, but to me to tell you that a Frenchman is looking for a <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, can I date your sister? Uh, let me think. No. Okay, so we gotta go look for a fortune teller then. Um... A wrench? Perfect. Love to see it. 
fortune teller. Are we? Yeah, we're at the school now, basically, again. Um, okay. So it might be one of these places off the side, maybe? I wish I could set, like, a target so I could figure out where I'm going. Yeah, this way. This goes around the back of the, uh, the shisha den, I think, eventually. Ooh, maintenance room key. I don't know where the maintenance room is. Really? Uh... Okay, nothing in here. Ah, a fortune teller. I see. Oh, let's drop a save. We we've already messed it up, but let's drop a save. Right. How the hell? I guess we have to lure him into the alleyway, right? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, hello. You're like a chef type person who goes into the alleyway. Ah, I see. We can muck with the lights, but we need to wait for you to not be here. Partly because you'll see me doing this, and partly because you'll see me nobbling the guy. Okay. Oh, sod. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Like, at all. Dip <laughs> doo Don't mind me! Don't mind me at all! <laughs> this is fine! This is fine! <laughs> ah! Oh dear. This is fine! This is fine! There's just a naked fortune teller guy there. Right. Oh, everyone's running into that alleyway. I'm gonna need to hide the fortune teller's body because the fortune teller will see through my disguise, I'm guessing. <laughs> uh... Oh boy. Oh boy. Are you going to wake them up? No. Okay, not waking them up is good. Uh, I need for them both to please leave, ideally. Would be good. Hello? Hello? Come on, you can you can go, I promise. Okay. Oh, that guard sees through the fortune teller disguise, interestingly. Um yeah, this isn't good news though. He's gonna come back and wake that guy up. Oh dear. Oh, double dear. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen now. I'm stuck here in this room. Right, okay. So that guy sees the... No, he won't see through me because I was not wearing this disguise when I, I assaulted him. Um... Do -do -do, this is fine. Oh, hello, look. This guy's right here. Hi there. Where did you come from? Hi. Are you... Are you not Matthew Mendola? You are. Lost. Hey, you. Is okay. he upset because I, uh... 
It's time to read Mendola his misfortune. Pardon me, Clan. Right, I don't know what I'm going to do here, to be honest. Oh, I c I've just got a kill clients button, apparently. And I also can't, uh, save. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Um... Oh god. Oh god, the, the fortune teller was right by me! And watch me do that! Ah! <laughs> ah! This is fine, this is fine, this is fine! Oh, blast. <laughs> the documents are still there. Oh no. This is fine, this is fine, this is fine. This is fine, this is fine, this is fine. I'm allowed in this bit. Uh, delivery truck key. Keys to a truck, that's probably an escape route. This is fine. Oh, there goes the guy who's looking for me. That's not great news. Right. View Intel. Mr. Kong's private party. You need an invite to enter. Once you have one, you can go as much as you want. That's fine. Okay, the 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 fortune teller guy has found. Oh. According to Intel, Mr. Kong is hosting a private party behind those walls. Invite only, of course. Though I'm sure one of the guests could be persuaded to part with their ticket. <laughs> I know, Loving Joe, I know. To be fair, maybe he was too preoccupied with seeing the future, or maybe he needs to be wearing his fortune teller get up to be able to like see what's going on. Okay, we'll have to do acquire an invitation. Yeah. I kinda guessed it would be that. That looks like a window I could climb through over there, though, to maybe get backstage? Let's drop another save now that I can. <laughs> oh, yeah. Perfect. Wonderful. Lawless. What a plan. <clears throat> okay, so. Hi there. Hey, well, let's see that funny dance you do. Hi, I've, I've got an invitation. Yes, <laughs> I suppose it's time to mingle with the elite. Have fun, 47. Fantastic. That wasn't really much of an opportunity, as opportunities go. Yeah, I see. Right. And this is not the maintenance door. When everything is in order, book us the first class back in Hong Kong. Understood? Of course, sir. Oh, look at you! That is so cute! Thanks. Wow. 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 And what have we got here? Cash register thing? I'm not a tourist, so leave me alone, please. Moving creep. Yeah, alright, sorry, I was just stealing. You know. You, you know how it is. Okay. Well there's not a lot of private space here, but there is some there is a bit back here. What's this? A radio, I guess I can use it to lure people. Okay. I don't need no crystal ball to see the turn Nope, okay. And then... Bathroom. With a wrench, lovely. And some poison, lovely. Okay, and then we're back to the beginning. 
Oh, I could have snuck in there. Blast. Oh, but there's a maintenance door around the outside. Okay, but I think I can come and go as much as I like. So. Oh, that's not the way out. Sorry, don't mind me. Wrong door. Alright, we're gonna go out. Around. Do -do -do. And then in through the side door here. What's this? Bodyguard's note. One of the bodyguards has taken us to the carpet shop across the marketplace. Oh, we haven't actually got the key though, have we? Whoops. Although... Hmm. It's a more private way to get in than the other way, but uh... I still don't think it's private enough to not be seen. That guy's literally staring right at me. Okay. Uh, never mind. Let's go back in through the front. We'll see if we can maybe tailgate behind that soldier when he does his patrol. Hi there. Oh. Not to me. I didn't realize that I'd have to like do it multiple times. I'm very sorry. Uh Mr. Kong? Yes. I'm sorry for that. Now why don't you take your magic flying carpet and stay away from me? Shut up, I'm trying to listen. Please go away. I can't hear what they're saying. I can't really hear what they're saying, I don't know what they're doing. Okay, they're coming out. Where do you go then? Well, there's absolutely nowhere to hide in there, so even though I could technically sneak in, it wouldn't do me any good to sneak in right now. Hmm. Do you just go back and Do you just go back and forth between these two places? No. You wander around. Do you eat anything? That would be good if you did. Again. I've noticed glasses being empty and pipes not prepared. Do something about that. It's what I've paid for. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Cole. Sure oh, the Just bodyguard takes a drink. Okay. So we could poison the bodyguard, potentially. And then... Then you go into a different private area. Right. Okay. Can I uh, overflow a sink to lure a guard in here? Or just lure a guard in here in general? With a coin. Oh! Or lure you in here. Maybe? Maybe not. Okay. You sent your bodyguard in instead. Oh, there's two of you coming in here. That's not good. This isn't good at all. What are you doing in here? Get out of my way! You swine. Please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. For the love of Christ, please leave me alone. I'm trying to nobble a bodyguard. You do not want to be here when I do that. Hey, I'm sorry, but uh, I need you to leave, okay? Oh, 
Asshole, excuse my French. Um, <clears throat> right, okay, let's try this again. Oh, I think the bodyguard just moved. It's that guy! I hate that guy! That guy's a terrible guy. Okay, and he's gone back in there. Hey, this is not some kid's birthday party, so nobody hired a clown. Just please, it's embarrassing for you. Really. Really. Hmm. I wonder how visible I am here. See if I could poison this. The answer is probably way too visible. Excuse nope. Me. <laughs> From here, not very visible. From where it told me to go, to to, to do the thing, excruciatingly visible. All right, let's uh. <laughs> ah, this is a tough area. It's it's small. There's not much space to do anything. It's the fortune teller. No. What does that mean? Increase water flow. Reflection pool. What does that do? Oh, it spills everywhere. Okay. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm not keeping the save anyway. What? I'm so confused as to what that button is for. <laughs> Because, like, okay, I can make some water happen here, but there's no electrics for him to walk into. So that doesn't really help me. I'm guessing I also can't... there's no chance of picking this lock without being seen either. Sure yeah, no, none. Alright. Maybe I do have to go and get that carpet guy. <laughs> I think the button makes people angry. It is, it's just an angriness button. Oh. I've not quite loaded the save I was intending to load. Let me know if you need anything. That's fine. Um, we'll go and find the carpet guy, I guess. Do -do -do. We were at the carpet shop before. Just need to remember where it was. Is it this? Are you the carpet shop? I think you're the carpet shop. Now we just need to find the bodyguard. Doesn't look like there's a bodyguard here to me. I mean, it says, hey, maybe that's what people mean when they say you're, you're pushing their buttons. I never thought of it that way. This is a. Uh... There's a distinct lack of bodyguard here. Is there a different carpet shop? Kitchen knife. Okay. Uh. Hmm. I sort of assumed there'd be someone here to nobble. But that just isn't. Hmm. Interesting. Unexpected and unhelpful. Oh, this may also be the carpet place? A different carpet place? Okay. Oh. Okay, here's the bodyguards. But I have to unlock it. Do you mind? I'm busy. Okay. No, 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 no. 
Don't close the door. Do not close that door. Perfect. Sneaky, sneaky tailgating. I can't see anything. Is there a guy up here? Somewhere? There's two guys up here. One guy, not a problem. Oh, bloody hell spells. Two guys, potentially a massive problem. Hmm. Oh, I don't have any coins. Oh, it's because I haven't stolen them yet. Luckily I have ten soda cans. Yeah, you just go back to turning around, please. Good bodyguard. Oh, for sake. Please. Well. That could have gone a lot better. That could have gone 8,000 times better, honestly. <clears throat> In fact, actually, if you asked me could that have gone worse, I'd have said probably not. Although my agency pickup is here. Somewhere. Wait. Uh oh. Oh god. Okay. That's fine. She's found them. Nope, she's run off too quickly. This is bad news. I need to get out of here ASAP. Boop -a -doo. Yeah, they had you. Well, the problem was I, I didn't get up. Oh, excuse my French. The problem was I didn't get a a silent takedown. I got a close combat. It's fine. We've only knocked out half of Marrakesh. The other half is still intact. <clears throat> Alright, so we now have the maintenance key. Let's, uh, hi there. Oh, I haven't stolen the invite yet. That's fine. We'll just go steal the invite. Don't mind me. <laughs> this is all perfectly fine. Hi there. Hey, go bother some tourists, man. Au contraire, I'm here to bother you. I suppose it's time to mingle with the elite. All right. Have fun, Let's drop another save after all of that horrible faff. <laughs> um. Right. And I think I'm allowed to open this with the key. Yeah. Even though I'm not allowed to be in there, technically. Right, what have we got? Hmm. Not a lot, to be honest with you. Got that gun. I was sort of hoping that there'd be a way to disguise. Please? Yes! Amazing. Now who sees through this? Like one guy. Okay. That guy. Hmm. I'm assuming I'm not allowed in here as a waiter. What does that mean? Does that mean yes or no? Hello. Hmm. 
Oh, I need to get frisked, and then I'm allowed in. I see, okay. Right, but in the meantime, as soon as that guy's not there, I can poison the assistant's drink. Yes, yes it is. Oh my god, I wish that waiter would move! You're a wise man, Mr. Kong. You live, right? Please, move! You're right in front of the glass I need to poison! No. Let's meet. Uh oh, okay. Right, do 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 do. Poison coffee glass, emetic rat poison. Do do do. Now, he's over there. I think the guard takes a drink. Yummy. Very yummy. Uh oh, that waiter's coming this way. I don't want to eliminate you, I want to honk you. There we go. Work this time. Okay, now. Hang on for now. More emetic poison to replace the one we just used. Now, one guy sees through that disguise. Who sees through this disguise? No one sees through this disguise, apparently. I might be able to get through it with being fist as well. Amazing. Wonderful. Okay, here we are. Can I just kill you? Like, just straight up nobble you? Oh no, it's a bit risky. Please. Sorry. Sorry, sir. Ah, okay, I see. I can create a gas explosion by turning off the oil lamp and then releasing the gas and then when he comes back he will presumably he'll light the gas and blow himself up again I guess I'm confused how he doesn't recognize his own bodyguards. <laughs> oh, it says he's about to learn cast fireball. We can hope. We can hope. All right. Oh, the other option is we could poison his shisha pipe if we get a way to disguise. But I think he's going to blow himself up first. Because we've got lethal poison, no, we've got emetic poison, but it, it's it's as good. <laughs> we are going to have to wait a little bit though, because he's got this whole circuit to do first. Actually, we might be able to. Oh, I was going to say we might be able to bump him in and make him go faster, but never mind. I seriously don't know why. What the point in spilling the water is? Does he slip on it or something? <laughs> Am I allowed behind the bar as a bodyguard, by the way? Good evening. How At the very least, I'll steal their money. Hey, what's up? Okay. Alright. He goes over this way, he does a drink. Well, he doesn't do a drink, his bodyguard would do a drink. He complains at the staff for a bit. I'll bump into him. Yep. Hopefully that skips it. 
his thing. He walks over. I'm going to uh, just stand in here and uh, just watch the fireworks hopefully happen through this vision. You gonna turn that gas lamp on? No. What are you doing? Interesting. Have you detected the smell? Boom. Okay, he got the bodyguard to do it for him. But the the important thing is he, he exploded. Uh did I not get my pickup in the end? Oh dear, what a disaster. Where the hell's the exit? Where are the exits? Oh, I haven't got the files yet. That's right, I need the files. I wasn't really intending to blow up the bodyguard as well, but I mean, we've already not, very not silent assassin this run, so... What's, uh... What's one more fatality, am I right? Okay. Now oh, the fortune teller's upset with me. There's an exit over there, an exit over there, an exit there. I think that's probably the truck. Let's see if we can go for the truck. Do do do. Yeah, non-target killed. I know. I know. I'm sorry. Noticed kill though. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a cute little truck as well. I'm barely gonna fit in this. I'm huge compared to this truck. <laughs> oh, wonderful! And exactly three o'clock by random, unexpected coincidence. Um. Oh. And we got some, some achievements this time, which is nice. Time's completed pure chemistry, oh dear. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, that has been Marrakesh bonus mission. In fact, that's been all of the Hitman 1 bonus missions. <laughs> My says, what do you mean it's for? Ah, are you in, uh, are you in Europe proper? Where yeah, the time is different. Uh, but yeah, so that's going to be it from me for today. Uh, I want to say a big thank you to everyone for dropping by and watching. Uh, thanks. <laughs> she says I just live in the future. I wish we could join you, although I guess if it's only an hour in the future, then not much will have changed. Uh, yeah, big thanks to Love Angel and Boom Boom for being around in the chat. It's always so lovely to see you, wonderful people. Uh, I will be back tomorrow with... Uh, some more Pokemon, also at midday my time, uh, as is my want on a Friday. Uh, do, 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 do. I mean, it says you're going to join me in an hour, but I might not be there anymore. Oh god, that's that's existential. <laughs> um, uh, but yes, uh, if people have a human that they think would appreciate a, a whopping two viewer raid, then uh, do feel free to drop their name in the chat. Uh, otherwise, my name has been Dizzy. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, please do drop a follow, or maybe consider subscribing. Uh, that sort of thing is a thing that I can say now. Still very excited over the whole affiliate thing. There'll be more emotes coming, uh, as and when partly they get approved by Twitch. Because uh, if you're a new affiliate, you need to get your emotes approved on a case-by-case -case basis. But also, as and when they get drawn, because I have no money for artists, so I just gotta, I just gotta draw them myself, and that's fine, if terrifying. Um, who is Rogue Liliana? I have not met Rogue Liliana before. Uh. They are an interesting ro uh, raid candidate, I suppose, potentially. 
Burglar Leander, they're playing Resi 4. Do do do. Huh, sure, let's let's send some people over there, why not? Do do do. Um anyway, yeah, so I'll hopefully see you all tomorrow. Uh until then, have a good day. Uh yeah, be good.